Would you sit at this table? It looks terrible. It's all like yeah, it looks horrible. I bet you I can clean up in five minutes. It's just completely neglected. I need to clean this up. Another bin. Let's, uh, let's do something about this. Welcome to a new episode of Keep It Clean. Something a little different today, we're going to attend the Pinner Fun Fair, a yearly event that attracts thousands of people, an event with a long and illustrious history, having been held in Pinner for, believe it or not, 700 years. It's great fun, and I only have words of praise for the organizers, save for one thing, the rubbish management strategy. With that, I kind of disagree. You see, a very thorough cleanup is performed, and they do a fantastic job of that, but only once the fair is over. During the fair, there is nothing. Bins overflow, rubbish accumulates in piles, people waddle through a literal sea of rubbish. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. And I strongly believe that is an undignified experience for all participants, but especially disrespectful towards children. They don't deserve seeing this and thinking it's normal or expected. And if we want to change mentalities towards littering, normalizing it in front of our children is the exact opposite of what we should be doing. So I went out to demonstrate how even one person is enough to make a tangible difference and offer people a dignified experience at the fair. So let's get on with the video. People literally standing in other people's rubbish. Would you sit at this table and have a drink? I wouldn't. That's terrible. Let's, uh, let's do something about this. Take your shoes now to now, And it's only gonna take me 10 minutes. You'll see. Yeah, children don't need to see this crap. It's embarrassing. And it's so avoidable. Hello. Uh, yeah, I have a couple. I'll try to keep the rubbish out. They never emptied it today, right? No, I couldn't keep up. I kept it on, but I couldn't. If I've got a couple of bags, I can help out of it. Yeah, no problem. It looks terrible. It's all over. Yeah, it looks horrible. Thank I know, you. I know. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. No problem. What did I tell you? It took me less than 10 minutes to clear around this. Let's uh, move on to the bin. It's a ride for all ages. Take your seats now to ride. A lady who owns the stall next to me hang these here in the hope that people would use them, and they did, but it was just not enough. She hanged two of them. So people are trying, you know, stall owners are trying, but it's just too much. Actually, I know what I'm doing. I have a bag just like this one. I'm gonna change the whole bag. Give me a second. It's 
next to ride for all ages. Take your seats now to ride. I think this is the best choice, you know? I'm sorry, I apologize to whoever empties this bin. I probably didn't do the best job putting this uh, bag in, but uh, I guess it's better than nothing. So this was a success. As you can see, people have started using it already and it doesn't look like crap anymore. Let's carry on, right? I don't even know what I'm doing because it's this rubbish is everywhere. And like I said, this normalizes the state of things. It tells children that it's okay to throw things on the ground. I'm, I'm not cool with that. I'm just not. Look at this. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Thank you. No worries. I bet you I can clean up in five minutes. There you go. Let's see, look at the watch. 824. And I'm done. What is the time? 828. Four minutes it took me. Is it too much to ask for? I believe so. I'll get an extra minute just to clean up the bin. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. Thank you. No worries. People want to use the bins, but if they're full since 11 in the morning, come on. How are they going to use them? And I know this is going to be cleaned at the end of the day, but that's not the point. It's perpetuating a culture of disposable stuff that can be thrown anywhere. There's so many children here. If they see this, it, it becomes ingrained in their mind that it's normal. It's not. It is not normal. Got some bins over there, look, if you can put them in bags. Yeah, yeah. They're in yeah. bags, but they're overflowing. A gentleman who owns a stand here asked me if I had any spare bags to for him to use. There's no one looking after uh, waste management. It's just completely neglected. I just removed a thin layer of rubbish. It's just full. This bin's full. Uh, but, you know, it should be good for another half an hour. Okay, I sorted another one. Another bin. It's, it's already full, but, you know, I ran out of bags. I don't have bags. So, I gotta go home and reload. But at least uh, we can have a tour to see how the rest of the fair presents itself. There are certain pain points. It's not horrible everywhere, but um, in certain areas it is. Where food is being served, uh, it's, it's always bad. I need to clean this up. Much better, I think. Moving on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Another bin. Oh. 
Honestly, these bins are the worst. Absolute worst. This is my last bag, so that's it. That's all I can do. No worries, no worries. Build another one. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bags. That's a lot. So, as you can see, this was not in vain. It's been one hour since I've cleaned this up. And uh, while things have noise, while things have started to accumulate again, um, it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. It's not in vain. That's all I'm saying. It's not in vain. You know, it's so much easier. I'm done. I reached the end of the street. It just looks dignified. It looks not embarrassing. Well, now I might consider sitting at this table. You know, it's something else. It only takes a minimal amount of effort. It looks like a normal street now. Obviously, I haven't cleaned from here, uh, so I'm gonna do that now. One more bag, let's carry on with the very last bag I have. Another portion of the street returned to its former self and I have just this corner to do and I'm done.
So here we are on the very next day. Normal life has resumed and uh, as I was anticipating, everything has been cleaned to the T, as it always is. That was never the problem. Uh, the people who clean up after the fair uh, do a wonderful job. My problem is what happens in the in-between. And I stand by my opinion that is just uh, a terrible approach to handling any event. You remember this bin, don't you? <laughs> it was full to the brim. Our bags were there. And um, I think there were a few, three of them over there by that bin. It, it looks like nothing happened, right? Which is fantastic. It's phenomenal that uh, they cleaned it to this uh, standard. I can only hope that we can do better next year and maybe offer visitors a more dignified experience when they attend the fair. But anyway, that's just my opinion. So uh, feel free to disagree. That's it for today's episode of Keep It Clean. I will see you next time.